should, that shouldn't be there. That's a fire hazard. Well, hey guys, and welcome back to Hey, It's a Good Life. I'm so glad you're here because today is my last day in Orange County before I leave for the shindig. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say shindig, and others of you are probably like, what? Let me put it another way. Tomorrow I leave and I'm flying to the middle of the country for an event that I'm basically going to because I've made some amazing new friends because I decided to say yes to pursuing my dreams and starting a YouTube channel. Still trying to wrap my brain around that, but I think it's gonna take some time to sink in. <sighs> so I bought the cat food and I bought the Tommy food and I did the laundry. Now I just need to cook the Tommy food and pack the laundry. <laughs> so join me today as I get ready to leave for the shindig. We do a couple chores around the house and let's have a little chat about why I'm still in such awe that this is even happening right here, right now in my life. But first, let's go check on the lemon tree. I wanna show you guys what it's looking like today after a second round of fertilization. So many new blooms everywhere I look. This is the area that I foliar fed and it is doing really well. In fact, in some ways I would say it is doing slightly better than the other side, but not significant. It's not like an instant fix. My life is so different today than it was when I started Hey, It's a Good Life. One year and so much has happened. About a year ago, I started Hey, It's a Good Life, exactly 13 months ago to be precise. It's honestly hard for me to wrap my mind around the fact that I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm getting on a plane and I'm flying across the country all because I said yes to a dream. You guys already know that dream. That dream is to homestead and run a healing ranch one day where we heal land, animals, and people. You know this, I talk about it all the time. And you guys know my heart is to build as many skills as possible and grow as much food as possible in the different rental properties that we have along the way. Did I hope for friends and like-minded people? Yes. Did I meet those people? Yes. Did I at some point think that I would meet some of the people who inspired me? Yes. Even though less than a year ago, I was watching Justin Road videos and Joel Salatin videos and literally crying to myself under the covers, watching these videos on my computer. And guys, I know I say this all the time, but I really believe like when something has grasped your heart so hard and won't let go, that it's so there for a reason. And in so many ways, we just have to say yes. We have to be willing to say yes to that in the capacity that we can. If you're in an apartment and you want a homestead, well start growing those little baby tomatoes. Start an herb garden. If you're in the suburbs like me, make a raised bed. Start growing food and building knowledge now because there are so many ways to homestead now. There are so many ways to have a modern homestead. And guys, that dream is there for a reason. For me, saying yes to this dream has led to incredible friendships and incredible opportunities. And I guess you could say I really don't take these travel opportunities lightly and that the weight of it really has captivated my attention. So I share all of this with you because I just wanna share with you guys the adventure that I'm on right now and share with you guys that I don't have it all figured out, but I just keep saying yes. I just keep putting myself in a position where I connect with that dream and I just look for the next indicated step and then I say yes. Obviously pray about it, obviously think about it, obviously make wise choices. Not every opportunity is going to be the next right step. For the most part, the opportunities that keep popping up make so much sense that it would be silly to say no. It would be silly to say no to doTERRA. It would be silly to say no. So I just pray about these things and when they make sense, I say yes and I go. And that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And am I a little bit nervous? Yes. Am I really excited? Yes. <laughs> so hopefully Tommy can hold down the fort while I'm away. I'm sure he can. He's gonna have to keep our new little spring garden patch watered and cared for. He'll be able to take care of the cats too, I'm sure. I know he'll miss me, but it's good. It's really good. And I just, I keep saying, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Just fine that I keep saying, I'm so excited. I'm so excited but I genuinely am. It's like I'm on excitement overload. I can't believe some of the things that are happening in my life. Like it's just hard to process, especially when you're coming out of a season of such hardship. Like, to go from having lost the ability to sit, walk, or stand right after saying yes to this dream, which I will never find coincidental ever, to then having opportunities open up with people that you admire and to have those people that you've admired for so long become friends. Like my mind is just blown, you guys. And I just want to encourage you, saying yes to dreams is so powerful. La 
Laundry, does it ever end? Laundry, you are not my friend, but at least you smell like lavender. Laundry, the musical. <laughs> On a serious note though, like, It's fine, everything's fine here. We got the luggage. We're good. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness, it's so rough. It's so hard to be Oliver. It's so hard to be Oliver. You have such a rough life, my friend. Raise your hand if you almost missed your flight. Next stop, Arkansas.